What is going on everyone? I'm so glad that you're back for another video of touchdowns to home runs today. I got for you guys my predictions for the NFC West this year. I'm going to try to go through all eight divisions from now until the season starts. I'm going to try to get through every single division and then make one massive video combining them all at the end. So I'm just going to go through. There's four teams. Obviously, you know the four teams in the division. You got the LA Rams. You got the Arizona Cardinals. You got the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. So this is the division that many people think is the best division in football for me it's up in the air right now i used to i was really high on the nfc north this year but then just the uh seahawks getting jamal adams that's just adding even more firepower to that defensive side of the nfc west so it's tough definitely they're a top two uh division in the nfl hands down no arguments there i still really like the nfc north but i'm starting to tend towards the nfc west just because of the depth on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball so i'm just gonna go through i have them all four ranked i'm gonna go through why i put them there just some of the things that they went through in the off season some of the things that i'm looking forward to for them this season some of the things that they need to be able to be successful this season so starting off at number four, I have the Los Angeles Rams. The offense, uh, the Los Angeles Rams, their offense did get weaker this year. They lose Todd Gurley. They use lose Brandon Cooks. Those are two big guys on their offense. I know Todd Gurley was costing them a lot of money, and he hadn't put up the production that he used to put up. But he's still Todd Gurley is still a very good running back, and they shipped him over to the Falcons. Cooks went over to the Texans. Adding to that. Uh, strong that well their receiving core isn't that stronger anymore because they lost d hop but still the rams receiving core now you still got cup you still got woods they're fine those two guys are going to be utilized so much more because they're losing cooks who was in my opinion their best receiver on that team so those two are going to get utilized a lot this year new running back cam Akers from florida state that's another reason why you're just going to use those wide receivers more because you still got to get a rookie running back used to what the NFL level is like, especially in an NFC West division where the defensives, especially the defensive lines are absolutely stacked. He's going to have to get time to get used to it. So you're really going to have to utilize the receivers that you have. You still have on this defense, very elite defense still. You got Aaron Donald, who arguably is the best player, a defensive player in the NFL. You still got Jalen Ramsey at the corner. One guy that needs to step up is Jared Goff. There's no questions about that. Jared Goff is, has to go back to playing at an elite level, especially in this division. Look at the quarterbacks in this division. You got Jimmy G, you got Russell Wilson, and you got Kyler Murray. So Goff has to play up to that elite level as the rest of the division is for the Rams to be successful this season. That's going to be huge, especially, like I said it again, Goff has to utilize those receivers because you cannot rely on a rookie running back to lead your offense this season. Uh, overall, the division is very tough this year, and I feel like the Rams are on a bit of a decline right now while the uh, rest of the division is on a very steep incline. Like, all those teams are improving so much. And I just saw the Rams take a bit of a drop last season. They missed the playoffs. Um, were they the first? Yeah, they were the first team out of the playoffs, which uh, is never fun for them. But, you know, it is what it is. So, the Rams, I have them coming in at four for those reasons. I just don't feel like that they're at the same level as the rest of the, as the, rest of the NFC West this year. Coming in at number three, we got the Arizona Cardinals. This is a team that is on the rise for sure. But big question this year, how will second year Kyler Murray play? Of course, he had a great first season winning Offensive Rookie of the Year, even though in my opinion, it should have gone to Josh Jacobs. But that does not mean that Kyler Murray did not have a great season. How he plays is going to determine how this offense rolls and everything because he's the quarterback. That's usually how it goes. But he's just a game changer and he can do so much with the ball that he even more will affect the outcome of this offense one of the best receiving corpses in the league with now you got d hop you still got christian kirk you still got larry fitz who's one of the best receivers of all time 
very strong there. Kenyon Drake will be a huge factor on how this offense uh, produces this season because if you get a ground game going, especially with that receiving corps, if you're able to get DeAndre more open, if you're able to get Kirk more open, if you're able to get Larry Fitzgerald, because you got three guys that you have to cover. If you're able to get them in one-on-one -on -one coverage because your uh, rushing is so good that the line has to start bring in some more pressure there that's when you're getting into good situations where you can have some one-on-one -on -one situations maybe throw down field to deandre or any of those guys that's how you're going to get big plays out of the cardinals and that's what's going to be the deciding factor for them in this offense this year if Kenyon drake can get going like he can this arizona cardinals offense will be very 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 dangerous this season very strong and uh, talented defense still jones looks to add another strong season with the Cardinals you got rookie Isaiah Simmons I know it's really hard for me to say because he's from Clemson I'm a huge Gamecocks fan so it's hard for me to talk good about Clemson players but Isaiah Simmons is a very good linebacker and he's a very fast and athletic linebacker so adding him to that Cardinals defense will help them an absolute ton very strong secondary in Buda Baker and you got Patrick Patterson still this team is a great team right now but in order to win this division you need to be lights out just the level that the Seahawks and 49ers are playing at right now the Cardinals without a doubt can uh, without a doubt for me can get there but I just feel like this is a team that really just needs to get a feel for who they are their identity especially this season you still have a young team and everything so you can continue to build on that and then year three year four that's the season where you really take that next step and maybe win the division get a deep playoff run in or anything like that but I think the Cardinals goal for this season is just make the playoffs you got a 17 playoff and everything It'll be very manageable for the Cardinals to make the playoffs, and I think that they definitely could, and that's a good stepping point for where they want to go in the future for the Cardinals. Coming in at number two, I got the Seattle Seahawks, a team that made the playoffs last year. They made a pretty good playoff run, but they came up short to the Green Bay Packers in the divisional round, I think. Russell Wilson is still going to be Russell Wilson, finished number two on the NFL Top 100 players list this year. He's an elite quarterback, there's no question about that, so he's going to keep playing like that and maybe even step up from last season. They added Dorsett to a very good receiving unit, and they still got DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. That was really the only offensive side of the ball that they added something. They know that they have a good running back in Chris Carson, but they need him to be a great running back or an elite running back to really get this offense going again. Like I just said it with the uh, Cardinals, if you're able to make more space for these receivers, especially the ones you got there in Seattle, that's when you just take that elite step as a team and on an offensive unit. Very strong defense, especially after adding a guy named Jamal Adams to that secondary, one of the best safeties in the league, and they just added him. The Seahawks defense is still going to be great. They're still going to be that elite defense. Getting Clowney back, though, that could be a difference maker. If they're able to get Clowney back and just add to that pass rush, that's what you really need. You need that lead dog on the defensive line. You need a big body guy like Clowney. Like 49ers have Boza. The Cardinals have Jones. You need Clowney on that Seahawks defense to become a very elite defense and be able to take down the 49ers this season. Overall, the Seahawks are a guaranteed playoff lock. No question in my mind that the Seahawks will be making the playoffs this season. It's just that factor of are they going to be better than the 49ers? Are they going to take both games against the 49ers, which I don't think will happen. The best I think the Seahawks could, could do against the 49ers is like last year you split one and one. But I just think that the 49ers right now are just a way more complete team. And it's not by much. I didn't mean to say way there like a way more complete team i just think that the 49ers have that slight edge over the seahawks just everything on their team that they do with the 49ers is so crisp right now they just got everything going for them and i think that's the reason why i have the 49ers over the seahawks in the division this year coming in at number one i've already said it but the san francisco 49ers just yesterday, when I'm shooting this video, they just extended George Kittle, who's an elite game changer, one of the best players in the NFL. I think he finished like 7th or 8th or something like that on the NFL Top 100 players list this season. They lose Breida, but they still have Mostert and Coleman in that backfield. It's great to have a, a dual threat like that. I know they used to have a triple threat, but still those two guys that they have in Coleman and 
Mostert are still very good running backs, and it's always good to have two very good running backs. They lose Sanders to the Saints. He decided to go over to New Orleans, but they add Brandon Ayuk in the uh, draft this season. First round pick, late first round pick. They traded Buckner to force Buckner to the Colts, I'm pretty sure, but they get my guy Javon Kinlaw from South Carolina. I'm telling you, 49ers fans, this guy is an absolute game changer. He's an absolute dog in the middle of the offense, uh, defensive line. He will wreak havoc right up in that quarterback's face. So you've got Wilson is gonna be forced to scramble a lot. Kyler's gonna be forced to scramble right off the gate. And when you have a guy like Nick Boza on the other end of that line, if you get uh, Kinlaw to pressure him to escape, then you just got Boza to uh, go and contain and finish up that um, play there. So adding Kinlaw to this defense was absolutely amazing move by this 49ers team. The offense will still be elite. Jimmy G, I've already said it. Kittle's an amazing player. Debo Samuel, one of my favorite players in the NFL. Been my favorite player in college for a long time. I loved Debo when he was on South Carolina. He's going to be able, once he gets back from injury, because he is dealing with a bit of an injury right now, once he gets back fully, he is going to be that number one guy, in my opinion, for the 49ers this season. He is just a baller. He just can make plays he's a playmaker and if you can get the ball into Debo's hands more often especially with Sanders gone now something special is gonna happen Debo is about to pop off this season I'm telling you get the ball in his hands it took the 49ers half the season to realize that Debo is a playmaker and then they started to give him the ball even in the Super Bowl the only guy making plays for the 49ers on that offense was Debo Samuel and they still didn't throw to him makes no sense put the ball in Debo's hands 49ers and your team will be an easy Super Bowl contender uh, overall I've said it this defense is elite still you got Boza I added that you still got Richard Sherman in the secondary I think that this team is better than the Seahawks they're just such a complete team on both sides of the ball last year they really showed just how sound of a football team they are and just how they can really take over a game like they make games against the Packers not even close and like the championship game or whatever so this team is really good. I'm guessing that they're definitely going to be a conference championship team, if not a Super Bowl team again. So that's why I have the San Francisco 49ers winning the NFC West this year. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Drop down below in the comment section your opinions on who's going to win the NFC West this year. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and come back next time.